Are you tired of spending endless hours on skin retouching? Wondering if there's a better way? Well, hang on tight because in today's video, we're diving headfirst into the latest buzzword, AI. AI tools have been revolutionizing our lives, making them faster and more efficient. And when it comes to skin retouching, Retouch For Me is here to save the day. If you're a pro photographer in a time crunch, whether you're shooting weddings, beauty, fashion, headshots, or school photos, stick around because Retouch For Me promises to supercharge your workflow, making your editing processing lightning fast. So if you're ready to begin, why don't we go ahead and get started right now? All right, so why don't we go into Photoshop? When you first get started, right, there are a few plugins that you can get. So if you were to get individual plugins, so your plugins, they will be in the filter, uh, the filter dropdown section, and then you will just go down to Retouch for Me. And the this is where all your plugins are going to be, okay? Or you can go and download the panel, and then you click the Retouch for Me panel, and then all of them should be coming up here. I wanna start off with this photo of Alyssa right here. It's a great studio, it's a great studio image, and I feel this photo is going to demonstrate how powerful Retouch For Me really is. I'm gonna, I'm gonna click open the Retouch For Me panel and then just click all of this on, mostly all of it on that I feel pertains to this shoot. I'm just gonna let AI do its thing. I'm gonna press run and let it do its thing. Uh, what I like about using this panel is you don't need to create the layers because each plugins you decide to use, the software will automatically create that layer for you and then you can see what changes are being made as the AI is uh, working it right now. And it's also non-destructive. So if you don't know how a certain plugin looks, you can always go in and adjust it to your taste. I know I certainly do this a lot. And boom, you, do you see the difference already? Look, look, look at the software do its thing. And I wanna close this. And the first thing that I see that pops out to me is the eye brilliance. It looks too fake for me. So we are going to have to dial this back with the opacity slider. So we're gonna find the eye brilliance. And then we're just gonna dial it back. And I think 30% is gonna be good. Let me see, 30%. If you click on and off, that should look good. And let's see what this looks like. So before, after, before, after. And you can see the changes it already made. Like it just did that so quick. Holy crap, that was crazy. <laughs> we're gonna zoom in here and look at that. Look at the eye vessel, we're gonna see. And you can see the eye vessels right here, right? I have it turned off already, so you can see. And then once you turn it on, they remove the eye vessel for you. Holy crap, it looks so clean. That's freaking amazing. <laughs> wow. All right, so you can see the eye vessel does its job at getting rid of those lines in your eyes. And I find this way of retouching to be a more natural way because oftentimes amateur retouchers, they would go and make someone look like a 3D image rendering instead of looking like a normal human being. And you can see them erase all the details in their face. But as you can see here in this image of Alyssa, with the retouching done by Retouch For Me, you can see that it still holds its details you can still see the details on her face, on her nose. Like, look at this. This is incredible. Like, details are still here. It's not being it's not being blurred out with Gaussian blur like some retouchers do, okay? Which is a great thing. We're gonna take a look at portrait volumes, and you can see what portrait volumes do. I'm gonna zoom out a little bit. This is the before, and this is the after. Before, after, look at that. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> this is the one thing that I always had to do before I was introduced to these AI retouching software. It would take me a lot of time just trying to contour the subject's face. And if you're a beginner and haven't developed that eye yet, it's going to take you a lot longer and it's gonna take you a lot of trial and error just to get it right. This portrait volume plugin takes out the guessing game of how much you should dodge and burn. And I find it to be like really, really natural from what other people are doing out there. If you find that the portrait volume is a bit much, you can always dial it back. You can go here, click on portrait volumes, go to opacity, and then just dial it back to your taste. Let's see, maybe, maybe 50%. Let me see how that looks. 50% before, after, before, after. 50% looks good. I'm gonna leave it at 50%. And then we're gonna take a look at the mattifier, okay? This is what I mean. This just gets rid of any like hot spots you may have in your image. Let's see, I'm thinking the nose and the sheen right here and maybe the forehead. The wherever places you think there's highlighting involved, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're gonna tone it down with this plugin right here. It's like, you know, that glossy sheen that you may find distracting. Before, after, before, after. 
and they just even out like the highlights here these harsh lines right here and i think that looks great but again we can adjust everything to taste we don't need to keep everything at 100 100 i want to bring this back because i do like the highlighted stuff maybe 50 percent. let's see much better i like that better let's go to dodging and burning okay so before after before after and dodging and burning is freaking amazing because this is here to like even out any harsh transition uh, that the skin may have from dark to light. This is gonna save you so much time, so, so much time. Like for me, when I do this, it takes me like anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes trying to figure out all the transition. And I would say I'm not really good at it. This again, just takes out all the guessing work in a matter of seconds. Look at that, that's crazy. Before and after, before and after. So let's get in closer. So before you can see like the eye bags and the uneven transition here and then after and then they got they cleaned up some of the tra uh, the dark lines right here as well. That's freaking nuts. After before after before after that's insane man. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Why don't we go ahead and check out the heal function and see what uh, they took away. This is the before. You can see like Alyssa has a few blemishes, some bumps and stuff, but uh, that shouldn't be a problem. And all these bumps right here, right? Still looks good regardless. And then if we click on the heal button, it just freaking cleans everything right up. And again, this just saves you so much freaking time because this is something that I really had to do when I was retouching a lot of photos. Can you imagine doing all this for one photo, right? Imagine me having 20 shots to do of this. I just get really, really bored. When I get really bored and I start to cut corners with my retouching, I start to care less about the retouching. What retouch for me, they just like make it so easy and it looks so freaking natural. Oh my God, like it's crazy. I wanna show you the final before and after, okay? Before, after, before, after before after this looks like it's been done by a professional i would pay someone for this take it from me this is top quality stuff the retouching at this level is something that i dream about getting to right and i'm not even there yet i don't think i'm that good of a retoucher like i'm okay i would like to say i'm okay at retouching but this just takes it to a whole nother level and it just took like like maybe like a minute to for it to retouch whereas when i retouch it takes anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes per photo and they did it in a matter of like uh like seconds to a minute it's crazy it's freaking crazy now that i showed you what uh, retouch for me can do with a studio environment i want to show you what it can do outside of the studio and right here we got a shot of lena we're just gonna let retouch for me do its thing and again eye brilliance that's that's a little bit too much for me before after before after it's like it's too much it's too much maybe like 20 percent and then the eye vessel. Wow, we just got rid of the, the red stuff, the red lines. That's great. There we go. And then skin. Wow, it made her skin look different. So we are, we're gonna have to go in here, manually adjust this to our taste because I do not like how she looked right there. First, we gotta go to heal and work our way up. Heal, okay. So she has some stuff on her face. It's just beauty marks and a little bit of blemishes. The heel also took away some of her beauty marks. Now with beauty marks, I'll leave that, I'll leave that up to the editor. Some editor likes uh, to remove it completely. Some likes to leave it in. Me personally, I think the beauty marks around her face does add character. So I'm gonna go in and erase some of that changes that retouch for me has made. I'm gonna click on this and then I'm gonna go to the erase button. Whoops, and then click on, oh. And then I'm just gonna start erasing some of the stuff right here. There's one right there and there's a few right here somewhere. I think I'm gonna, I think that should be okay. And then we gotta look at the dodging and burning. Let's see the dodging and burning. So before you see that, you know, there are some eye bags. She has some eye bags right here. There are some like dark areas, some uneven transition that right here and the nose wrinkles right here. Uh, like the smile lines and some uneven eye bags right here that they got rid of it perfectly like i don't have to do anything to that that's 
that's such a good job. Like I, me, sometimes I have trouble identifying these like transition. Like I don't know what I'm looking at sometimes. Plugin did a really good job, a better job than I than I can do. Skin tones. I don't like the skin tones. So I'm gonna maybe put it down to 30%. Let's see how that looks. That looks a little bit better. We're gonna keep at 30%. And then portrait, portrait volumes. Again, this is like the contouring. This is where I have a problem with it because it looks, I think it looks fine like this without, without it because she is in the shadows, but the retouch for me says that it needs, like she needs to be brightened up here, like doing the highlighting and the contouring. I understand what they're trying to do. Dial it back to 50%. I think that looks a lot better. Let's check. Before, after, before, after before after i still think the retouching is a little bit heavy-handed so i'm gonna dial back the dodging and burning and then i am also gonna dial back the portrait volume to like maybe 30 percent and see how that pans out and eye brilliance and vessel i'm gonna dial back the vessel too i think it's probably the eyes that are making it look too weird for me it looks okay let's try that now portrait volume skin tones skin tones before after before after i actually i like this a lot better it looks more natural and they got rid of all the blemishes and the pimples and then got rid of the the eye bags the the smile lines and all that and that looks pretty pretty good to me freaking amazing <laughs> Oh boy. So the last thing I want to talk to you guys about is this cool plugin by Retouch for me called Color Match. And that's right, it does what it says it's going to do, and that is to color match your photo. So let's just say that you like a color grade from your favorite photographer, right? And you don't know how you would achieve that color grade. This plugin can help you solve that. So in order for this to work, I recommend you guys just edit your raw as is, just do your basic adjustments, but leave the color grading out of it. Leave the hue, saturation, luminance all at zero. Don't touch the color wheel at all. And afterwards, you want to bring that photo into Adobe Photoshop. And I brought this photo and it, this is just like a basic uh, adjustment that I did in uh, Adobe Lightroom and I brought it into Photoshop. Command J to duplicate the layer. And then what you want to do is go into filter. You're going to go to retouch. You're going to go into retouch for me. And then you're going to go to color match. After you're in this section, you want to do is uh, click on the load reference. And this is where you're going to want to have some sort of references and save photos that you like so that you can feed it into this uh, plugin and then the plug plugin will try to, its best to color match uh, that shot that you have. And I do like this color grade, so I'm gonna press open and let, let Retouch for me do its thing and press apply. And right now, this this doesn't look too, too bad, but what we can do is since we have this second layer, we can just slide back the opacity slide back the opacity and i think i think this looks so close to what i had with the other color grade let me just check i'd say that's pretty damn close that's freaking crazy <laughs> that's freaking crazy okay maybe maybe it's like a little bit more we can like probably go we can go to 60. That's pretty damn close. Albeit this shot is a little bit more contrasty, a little it punches out more. And that's just because, you know, you just need to work on your contrast, but the color grading itself looks exactly like the colors that I have in this image. That's pretty damn close. Oh my goodness, that's really incredible. Now, if I try to, maybe I can try to make it look more like punchy by doing the curves adjustment, see how that looks. And then maybe we can get it. That looks pretty damn close. Wait, yeah, that looks pretty close. Holy shit. Bring down that curves. There we go. Make it, yeah, there we go. Oh my God, that looks freaking amazing. And they did that in just a matter of seconds. <laughs> Wow, that's freaking awesome, man. Oh man, that's so cool. Okay. Now, as we dive into the comparison between Retouch For Me and Avoto, it's essential to consider who these are for. 
They are for the professional photographers who deal with a high volume of photographs, such as wedding photographers, beauty and fashion photographers, and uh, headshot photographers, and you know anyone that's in that's shooting uh, corporate headshot or who's doing headshots at school as well. Additionally, professional retouchers seeking efficient tools should also take a look at this plugin. The Voto is undeniably feature rich and might catch your eye because it's like so versatile. It's like a Swiss army knife because there's just so many options to choose from. However, there's a catch. It operates on a credit system and this can become a significant financial commitment for those of you who will consistently export thousands of photos per client or engage in numerous projects throughout the year. And in contrast, Retouch for Me keep things clean and uncomplicated. So, and there's no credit system. While individual plugins may appear somewhat costlier initially, they provide flexibility to select only what aligns with your precise needs. So basically, you can just pick and choose the plugins that you need. You don't need to buy them all. You can just you just pick the ones that fit your requirements. Another standout feature of Retouch for me is its non-destructive approach, allowing you to revisit and refine your work as needed. But let's talk about what truly matters, and that is your time. As photographers, time is our valuable asset. The hours spent on editing and retouching could be invested in expanding your business, uh, taking on more projects, and ultimately boosting your revenue. Retouch for Me steps in as like a reliable partner offering you the gift of time so you can concentrate on your craft and clientele. So if you're looking to optimize your workflow, save on costs, and enhance your productivity, go check out Retouch for Me. You can download the free trial to test it out for yourself. And if you're interested in buying some plugins from them, they are knocking off 20% to anyone that uses uh, my link down in the description below. If you found this video helpful, insightful, please consider liking and commenting and subscribing for more. Thanks so much.